He loves you tonight. We go back to 1 Peter and we see in this writing here in chapter 1 of 1 Peter, verse 10, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them I did signify when it testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow up unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us that did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven which things the angel desired hard to look into. Hey man, the old prophets of God. Hey man, if you go back to Genesis, hey man, you'll see the promise of Christ coming. Moses, hey man, pinned her down. If you go, hey man, into the book of Exodus, Deuteronomy, hey man, you see, hey man, as you come through, hey man, each one of those men prophesied that a Savior, amen, was coming. Amen. They sought God, amen, to know the time. They sought God to know that he was going to come. And then Isaiah, amen, wrote down the report when he said, who will believe our report? And he gave it a line by line, verse by verse. Amen. The coming of the Savior Jesus Christ, amen, and he told the suffering that he would endure. He told the son that sold, amen, everything that would take place, amen, then Isaiah, amen, finished her up, but they went down through, you'll see him coming. These men searched diligently, amen, they began to look, they began began to pray. Amen. And the Lord said, I am sought of them that seek me early. Amen. If you seek him, amen, you can find him if you search with him. Search for him with your whole heart. Amen. These men sought to know of the things that we know in this present hour. Amen. When he said here, search what? Or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the suffering of Christ. Amen. It's just like his disciples when he had told them of the destruction of Jerusalem. Then they said, Lord, when will the end come and what will be the sign of thy coming? Honey, those apostles, honey, they wanted to know of these things. Amen. I tell you today, we know because men, God loved man enough, he loved you enough that he sent his son. Amen. I tell you what, if you want to see the love of God, read the Gospels and turn to the back of it and you'll see if you start in one of the Gospels, if you start in Matthew, if you go to Mark, if you go to Luke, Luke, if you go to John, you'll see the love that God has for you. Amen. You're sitting on your couch. You're driving down the road. You that are laying in your bed. Amen. Because you'll see the sick healed. You'll see the dead raised. And you'll see on his way. Amen. When he had in into his suffering. Amen. When he had entered in, I tell you what, I wasn't worthy. You wasn't worthy. But honey, God loved us and made that way. The suffering Savior. Amen. That withstood the mocking. The Savior that withstood the beatings. The suffering Savior. Amen. 
Amen. The supper the spitting upon the Savior. Amen. That loud man. And it was. He allowed it. Amen. It was because of you. Because of me. Because inside of us dwelled no good thing at all. But he still loved us. Amen. And listen. That suffering Savior went to Calvary. Amen. And outside here the Bible said that he suffered without the camp. He was outside the walls of Jerusalem. Amen. A place called Golgotha. A place called Calvary. Amen. A little rock outcropping outside of the city. Amen. And there the willing, the willingness of this suffering Savior laying down amen his life amen there amen he suffered the nails being put into his hands he suffered the nails being put into his feet 